Okay, boys and girls, this is Math Message 1-7, and in today's math lesson, we are going to organize and represent data on a bar graph. So the first thing I need you to do is um, turn in your workbooks to page 12 and 13. And always pause the video if you need some time to gather your workbook and turn to that page. Okay, so number one wants to know how many last names are. We're going to do some, we're going to collect some data about the last names. Um, now, usually it's in our classroom. If you were here at school, we would have our class list and we would go through our, our friends' names in class. But we're going to do it a little bit different since this is a video for home and in case you're learning from home. And so we are going to do, collect data on the last names of teachers here in the West Branch Intermediate School. So I'm going to show you a list of teachers here. We've got McMullen, Roland, Utt, Adams, Martig, McInturf, Basala, Thrasher, Bowser, Clanky, Helsley, Tucker, Wells, Rohaley, Mall, Celeroli, Murray, and Cadvan. So the very first question it asks you in your book is how many last names are there? So go ahead and pause the video and count those names. Okay, so you should have um, realize that there are 18 last names up here and so that's what you would have written in number one. Now it says use your data you collected to make a tally chart for the last names in your class or the teacher's last names. Um, add rows as needed. Now in your book I change things up a little bit and I have a good reason that I won't go into on this video but I don't like the number of letters um, to collect data on. So we're just going to do beginning letters, okay? And then number of children would actually be number of teachers, since we're doing teachers, okay? All right, so now we're going to collect this data. We're going to make a tally chart first. So I'm going to have to kind of go back and forth between these two. And because I like to keep it organized, I want to kind of do my letters in order. So I'm going to go through here. And I notice we do have a teacher with the letter A, so I'm going to put that on my tally chart. You can do the same thing. We do have a teacher with the letter B, um, so we're going to put the letter B on our tally chart. Okay, we don't have any C, D, E, F, G, H. We do have an H right there. So we'll put the letter H, I, we don't have, J, K, we do have a letter K, H, I, J, K, da, 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 da. see if we have any L's, we don't have L's, but we do have M, so we will go back and put a letter M. Okay, we don't have a letter N, O, or P. We do have a Q. No, we don't have a Q. We do have R. So I'll go back and add R to my list. We do have an S, I know, for Celeroli, Q, R, S. Oh, we do have a T for Mr. Tucker. I'm going to go ahead and put that on there. We do have a U for Mrs. Ut. T, U, what would be the next letter? V, we don't have any Vs or Ws. Oh, yes, we do have a W. And then X, Y, Z. So we'll put a W on there. Okay, so on this side of my T chart, these are the beginning letters of my name. So these are all the beginning letters we have of teachers um, in our building. Now I need to do the number of teachers with those letters. So now I'm going to need to go back and count them a little bit. So for the letter A's, and I'm going to go ahead and cross off the names as we go so I make sure I do count them all. Looks like we only have one letter A, but I can always go back. If I missed one, I can, I'll can i know because I've crossed it out. I'm trying to be real organized. Okay, now we need to do our B's. Let's count how many B's we have. One, two, I believe we only have two. Now we're going to do our H's, and we had just Mr. Helsley for that one. We're just putting tally charts, or tally 
tally marks. Okay, we need to do our letter K's. We had Clanky and Cadvan. Now we need to do our letter M's. Whoops, went the wrong way there. We have one, two, three, four, and five. So remember when we're doing tally marks, one, two, three, four, and cross it to make five. Next would be our R's. We have one, two teachers with the letter R. We need to do S. We have, I believe, just Celeroli with an S. And the letter T, we have Thrasher and Tucker. So we have two with the letter T. And then the U and the W, I believe we have just one each of those. We have a U and we have a W. Let me make sure I've crossed off all names just so I didn't miss any. So one U and one W. All right, so I want you to look at the data on your tally chart that you just made. And I want you to come up with at least three things you know from looking at the data. Okay, go ahead and pause the video and write down three things that you know. Okay, looking at the data, um, one of the things I, I noticed is that I could count all of my tally marks and it totaled the number of teachers. So when I counted all of my tally marks, I double checked and it did make 18. So I'm going to say um, there are 18 total teachers and I can tell that by counting all of my tally marks. Um, just by looking at my tally table, I noticed that there are more letter M's. And then you might have noticed something else that I didn't notice. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and just to kind of save us time here, I'm just going to list the two right now because honestly, I'm need to go back and get my class pretty soon and I want to get this lesson finished. <laughs> Alright, so now we are going to take this um, information on our tally chart and we are going to make a bar graph for this data. Now a couple of things we need to do before we start filling in the bar graph is we need to get all of the labels on. So the very first thing we're going to do is put our title. The title tells what our bar graph is going to be about so that when someone looks at it they, they understand what this information is. So think about what a good title would be. And I'm going to call it, um, let's see, I'm going to call it Letters of Teacher Names. Maybe I should have called it Beginning Letters of Teacher's Names, but we'll just kind of title it Letters of Teacher's Names. If you called it something else, as long as it's similar to that, that would be just fine. Okay, now, one thing that we always have to do is we have to label our bar graph. Um, we have to label the scale on our bar graph along that left-hand side. So over here, we always, always start with zero. And we have to decide what we think our scale should be. Um, now, what was the biggest number we needed to put onto our bar graph? What was the most um, number of teachers we had for a letter? Five was the biggest we needed to go, right? So I don't want to count by fives. Um, I only need my bar to go up to five, so I'm going to go ahead and count by one. So just zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, so go ahead and get your scale. Now, if we had a bigger number of data, let's say that I needed to graph 20 people. I wouldn't be able to count by ones because I wouldn't be able to fit all of those numbers. So I might need to count by twos. Um, let's say on my dad I had to, to put 100 as one of my bars. Well now I might need to count by twenties. Okay, So just depending on the size of your data is going to be how big your intervals are on your scale. Alright, so now 
down along the bottom, this is where I'm going to put my letters that I had. So I'm going to label that letters. Maybe I want to say beginning letters. Let's see if I can move this word over a little bit. I got all my markers out, so let me just try to start that over there. I'm going to call that beginning letters. Okay, and I remember, I'm going to try to do some of this from memory. I remember I had an A, a B, a H, K, and you can be looking back at your tally chart um, over on the page 12 to help you do this. Um, M, R, S, T, oh, I'm running out of space. We might have to come off here. U and W. Okay? All right, so now these are my beginning letters. This is what I was collecting data on. That's going to go along the bottom of my bar graph. And then I still need to label over here at the side what do these numbers represent? The numbers represent the number of teachers. So we're going to label that and say number of teachers. Okay, and now you go ahead, pause the video. I want you to take all of your information from your tally chart and transfer it over to your bar graph. Pause the video and then restart the video to check yourself in just a little bit. Okay, and so now your bar graph should look something like that. Okay, where we have all of our bars matching with our tally table. All right, we will be doing much more bar graphing um, later on, but this is just kind of a real quick lesson to just remind you about labeling your bar graph and transferring your information from your tally table to your bar graph. All right, guys, that is it for lesson 1-7.